this daggone dog, y'all. Trying to bury her daggone tree in my couch. Zara, what are you doing? Why are you trying to bury that daggone tree in my couch? She done took off. It's Michelle back at you guys with another video. Um, I actually want to show y'all something real quick. Um, these here are a few of my struggle plants. I actually have the rubber plant here. And um, whenever you repot a rubber plant, they always go through like a struggle period. Well, most of mine <laughs> that I've repotted. Zara, will you be quiet? You see right here? Um, there's some wrinkling going on. Y'all see that? It's a whole bunch of wrinkle going on here. And um, yeah, so I'm waiting for that to get better. This one is actually, uh, let me... Let me see okay so this one here is actually getting better it's no longer wrinkled as you see okay but the one here is uh, actually doing bad also so what I did is I brought it to my sunniest window that looks horrible but it's not dropping leaves so I'm assuming it has a chance Okay, and um, this one here dropped all the daggone leaves. It, it's only down to two. Y'all see that? It's only down to the top two, but that's okay. There's still hope. Yeah, so, like I said, I bring it to the sunniest window. This is an east-facing window, I think. Um, but I also have uh, grow lights on the ceiling above here. Y'all can see it. Okay, I have two grow lights on the ceiling there. They are sun-like grow lights. Sometimes um, people use the daylight grow lights, but I figured the sun-like grow lights look better to the eyes. They don't hurt your eyes as much. They're not as bright, and it gives a, a subtle look for the house. The daylight grow lights are really good, too. Um, I think I may add... Um, a daylight grow bulb somewhere in here. I gotta fit it somewhere. But anywho, so I actually have a daylight grow bulb in my little clip light here, and um, I have the the uh, plant extremely close to that light because a lot of times the bird of paradise plants here, which are struggling too, those require a lot of light. But um, yeah, so that 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 light so close won't harm the plants. It will only encourage the growth. But on my bird of paradise here, this was a struggle plant. I actually do have a new leaf coming. So I'm happy about that. Let me show y'all. I do have a new leaf coming. So that's pretty awesome. But I'm trying to get another leaf to grow on this bad boy. Let me see. Move everything out your way. Trying to get one to grow on that bad boy in that pot there. Because I'm actually uh, going to pot the bird of paradise plants in one pot together. So, yeah, but I'm actually spray painting the flower pot so it's not ready. So until it gets done, it's going to sit on here, right on here. Yep. And uh, this bird of paradise, I had to cut all the leaves off. Uh, these three pieces here are going to be in the same pot. I'm going to take these and put these in my kitchen in a red flower pot. And um, y'all see I had to like chop it down. Because it wasn't getting much light. I just had it sitting on the floor after I purchased it. And I actually forgot to put it in a daggone sunny area. But it does have another piece growing here as y'all see. So it still has life. And being as though it has that uh, sun. And the clamp light here. It should uh, do wonders. Now let me show you guys the difference. Let me see if I can pick up the difference with the camera with uh okay so i'm gonna turn the the clamp light off okay so y'all see how it looks in the sunny window with the grow lights hanging on my ceiling they're not really really close but they're you know damn near <laughs> okay so let me show y'all the difference when i turn the clamp light on with the daylight bulb in there you go so y'all see the difference so that should help and the thing is if you can't afford a grow light you know ordering off of amazon or whatever because a lot of times those bulbs be like twenty dollars a piece 
So if you can't afford that, just go to the dollar store, dollar twenty-five, and get you a daylight grow grow bulb. Okay, that's all. Okay, something wrong, make it right. All right. So I just wanted to come real fast and uh, tell you guys that. That's all I wanted to show y'all what I had going on. Um, I'm about to uh, go back on my patio and uh, do another coat of spray paint on my flower pot. And um, cause I gotta, I gotta organize up in here, okay? Starting to get on my nerves. And I wanna polish my floor. I still haven't got to that. I done got my furniture, my new furniture and everything. And I still didn't even polish my daggone floor. So I'm so sad about that, y'all. Now I'm gonna have to daggone move all the furniture around and take everything into my kitchen and hallway and all types of stuff like that. Just so I can uh, <sighs> polish daggone floor. And I'm actually gonna show you guys the process as I polish my floor. And I wanna show y'all what I'm using to polish the floor because somebody may be interested you know, I actually found some commercial floor polish, and I'm so excited about that. I can't wait to use it. Yeah, but I really hope that, they, that these uh, ficus plants, I hope these rubber plants here, you know, the ficus, I mean, the rubber plants are in the ficus family, so they're really uh, fussy, fussy little chicks. So, uh, yeah, just hoping for the best for those bad boys, because they're like one of my favorite plants. I really love rubber plants and this one here is the indian green this one here is the indian green rubber plant and this one here is the ficus robusta they kind of look similar but there actually is a little difference there but um those are the two that i love and oh another thing guys i want to show y'all remember i got those uh <clears throat> the plant decor the plant ties yeah so i got these plant ties from the dollar store and these are the lizard plant ties and the reason i got these is because you know i have all these tropical plants and a lot of times when you go to the tropics and all that stuff uh you always see lizards and things like that all over the plants and everything so i just thought it was cute and then this fike is here is pretty bare at the bottom so um <laughs> i just put a little green matter to the bottom you know and it looks awesome but the good thing is i actually do see some uh sprouts coming let me try to pan in y'all see that right above that lizard there since i have it in this sunny window i do see a little growth right there and um i see a few more along this stem goodness i'm trying to get my camera to pan in okay i see one coming right there too y'all Y'all see that little thing poking out. That's one right there. But let me go to the other side and show y'all what I have here. Okay, so let me, there we go, pan in. Okay, so on the other stem here, I have one right there. This one has a whole bunch of different little grooves. Y'all see that? It has so many, it ain't even funny. So many up and down this daggone plant. It's almost time to feed this plant too. I normally feed all of my plants on the first just so I don't forget to water them, you know? I actually got to start uh, writing it down. Oh, y'all see that? Look at that, all those growths up and down this daggone bad boy. And a lot of times I always uh, spin this plant around so each stem can get some light. Yeah, so um, I got to start writing it down because sometimes I don't water directly on the first. Sometimes it'd be like the fifth or something like that or the sixth and I'm like... Then I sit back and think, I'll be like, at the end of the month, I'll be like, damn, what day did I water them? But I'm going to start writing down the date and sit it somewhere just so I know exactly what day I water these plants because I don't want to ever overwater my plants. But I always like to water them in, in the beginning of the month. The thing is with these plants, you actually just got to get a regimen and, and I mean, you'll do good. A lot of people always say, oh, I can't grow this. I can't grow that. Yes, you can. Just get you a good regimen for your area. I'm actually in Delaware. But um, the thing is, uh, we have cold winters and everything like that. So um, I just...